a lot of the schools here you find similar problems as you go to your school. It's usually a lack of resources or funding for teachers. Uh, but this school specifically, we ran into something we haven't ran into prior to, and it's the, he said about 70% of the students here in Pitois don't have birth certificates, so they can't attend school. So only about 30% of the, of the children population in Pitois is actually attending schools here, which is pretty concerning. So civil affairs at its basic level is we advise the commanders on all military things that are civil in nature. And whether it's government, the local population, institutions, economy, whatever, anything related to the civilian side or civil domain. Prior to even coming into country, we analyze regional socio-political climates. We study those things. We identify the vulnerabilities. So the water sources in the building. And then we come up with ways uh, things that we can do to impact those in order to meet our commander's objectives. Reports from the northeastern town of Baga say Boko Haram sacked the town, burning it to the ground and killing hundreds, possibly thousands of people. A local government official says more than 2,000 people in Baga and surrounding villages may have been massacred. They killed for killing. No purpose, no discussion before. Uh, I, I, all of us have one member of our family, our friend, young soldiers young colonel, young people with a lot of uh, things coming from them have been killed by Boko Haram. So uh, that makes our fight legitimate and we are fighting strongly against them. Well, anytime you're dealing with an insurgency, uh, the biggest threat is one being economic resources that the community may, may have and then the government's ability to govern at a local level. Most battles with insurgencies are not lost because you're, you're losing firefights or you're losing you know, kinetic combat operations. They're lost because the local government is being outgoverned by an insurgent group. So as civil affairs, we come in and we look at these things at a local level and identify what, what are the shortcomings of the government? How can we assist them in delivering those to the local population in order to combat VEOs? The United States Army is helping our, our populations. We are, we are involved in medics, we are involved in education of our people. Uh, so the, the partnership in, is going everywhere now. It's not only military. It goes with population, dealing with uh, school, giving desks, helping our school, helping our uh, medical situation. So it's, it's a very good uh, partnership going everywhere now. We're deterring Boko Haram from coming further south. We're enabling the local population and the host nation government and their militaries to fight Boko Haram on their own. So by doing that, it prevents U.S. military from having to get into a large-scale conflict, obviously. But more importantly, we're en enabling our African partners to be able to fight their own fights, not just against Boko Haram, but we're building and strengthening their institutions, their own government institutions and their militaries to, to combat Boko Haram now, but whatever other threats that may arise either regionally or within the country later on.